Hello everyone, it's a long time since I've videoed anything because I've been a bit poorly but in my poorliness I have made quite a lot of cards so I am going to show you how to make the favourite one that I've made of my batch which is this one here. I'm going to change the sentiment though. I'm going to use the happy birthday sentiment here from the Butterfly Basics and the background stamps are from Bloom With Hope which you can purchase from Stampin' Up if you hostess a party or collect orders um, up to £150 um, and then you can get this for um, being a hostess. Okay, so starting with a C6 uh, blank uh, card uh, which measures 4 and one eighth by five and seven eighths and then the double mat um, I've used crumb cake here which is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths I like to gut because I don't like to waste cardstock and then in whisper white the double mat there is five and three eighths by three and five eighths and that gives you uh, a double mat of one eighth all the way round. Now you can see here there's a uh, Blackberry Bliss um, background um, mat, but that isn't done with cardstock. I've done that uh, using the Stamping Right <coughs> marker, um, and all I've done is go round the outside of the cardstock, the card blank rather, with the pen using the brush side and I just just go all the way down. My hands are hurting a bit at the moment. I've done a bit too much today. Um, I've got arthritis in my hands, which I think I've mentioned before. I find card making helps. A bit like yoga for the hands. So then I just pick it up, clean up those edges, and let it dry. And that gives you a, a fake mat. And then I glue this one on using a bit of Tombow. Just stick around the edges. Sometimes squeezing glue is really hard for my hands. Okay, it's not too bad. So that will stick on. stand up to do this so we can see it. And it's a nice little eighth of an inch all the way around. Stick that down. And I can just see there where I've missed a bit. And now we're ready to decorate the top. So I'm using crumb cake to match the mat. And I've got this lovely leaf design. And I'm just randomly Going off the page is why I'm using my C6 
so they can match so I don't mess up my paper put it in there put it up there I felt like it went over laps put it in there to make it a little bit more of a curve Then to do the flowers, because I've managed to, I wanted to have green, green stems as well as the purple top, I'm using the Stamping Right markers to colour in the flower. So we use green on the stem. Green is the uh, Mossy Meadow from the In Colours this year, and this is Blackberry Bliss, which is my favourite. Purple's my favourite colour, and uh, I love this shade. So, just using the edge of the brush side of the marker, just run it over. And then I'll just give it a bit of a huff to make sure that the green hasn't totally dried. <sighs> and then there we go, nice little subtle on top. And then using this flower, do exactly the same. A bit more green in this one. Got a nice leaf as well as the stems and then a bit more purple over these bits. I love these stamping right markers as it does allow you to use lots of different colours on your stamping so it's not just one colour. It gives it a lovely effect. There we go. And again, a bit of a half. <sighs> and then stamp it next to it. There we go. And then I've just done a flower in the corner. So I'm just inking over the one flower and then I'm just doing that coming into the corner like so and there we go and then I'm going to do my favourite happy birthday I'm going to do this with the ink pad Instead of the marker, okay. ink it up. There we go. Happy birthday. Then all I did was I took a sponge and then I just inked up the edges of this to soften them a bit. Twine and one of the buttons that you got during celebration. 
Um, so if you were lucky enough to get it, if not, you could just use ribbon. So I'm just cutting two lengths. You could wrap it, but I'm a bit stingy. Use my stamping up scissors a little bit better. I have difficulty. Same with my fingers at the moment. Right. That's better. So I stuck this on with glue dots. No, I didn't. I used a bit of tape on the back, didn't I? So let's get some tape. Oh, near the bottom. Where are we there? So I'll just do a little bit of tape there. A little bit of tape there. One up, brought it around, and put that one near the bottom of the tape so it's slightly diagonal. And then I did the opposite, put that near the bottom, and then stuck it near the top bit of the tape so it's got a little bit of a crisscross going on there. And then the button just sticks in the middle of that flower there. I think it just brings it out really nicely. I like that touch. And just use a glue dot on the back of the button. And then stick it in place. Don't want to come off. There we go. And then to because it's quite a thick twine, I'm gonna stick these on with stamping dimensionals so they stand up. So I'll put one in each corner. And then the little bits. Around the edge in, or put either side. Get the little bits. I find that these are such easy lift stamping dimensionals that it really makes life easier when you've got a bit of arthritis. Which I'm just coming to terms with. And I've had some really bad days. I find card making helps me to forget it. Let's get lost in creativity. Okay, and then I just allow for my eighth of an inch all the way around. Stick it there. And there you have it. Quick, easy, I think very beautiful. You can, of course, stamp on the inside. Give it a little bit of that second generation, so it's slightly subtler. There's a little subtle effect on the inside. There we go. Thank you for watching. See the links down below for where you can get the products. Thank you.